Do you know what sway is? Well, if you've ever experienced uncontrolled sway while you've been towing your trailer, you absolutely know what it is and it absolutely terrifies you. So today, we're gonna look at the Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution hitch. So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're in the market for a weight distribution hitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my Blue Ox hitch. I'm gonna to explain to you why you need a good weight distribution hitch, how it works, and I'll then finally I'll show you how to hook this up. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a great understanding of what you need to do to go ahead and make your decision on what weight distribution hitch works for you. All right, so the easiest way for me to show you how well a weight distribution hitch works is to show you how poorly a traditional hitch works in this scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and hook this up with this hitch and I'll put the level on the back of my truck so you can see how it actually weighs the back of the truck down. If this video helps you make a decision on a weight distribution hitch, please click like and subscribe below. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the Amazon affiliate links. I actually talk about the Blue Ox hitch down there. So with that said, let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. Before I do much, I'm going to show you what my truck looks like with nothing on it. It's not hooked up yet. I have a level on the back. And as you can see, with this ground, it's almost level. This is an F-150 2019 with the max tow package. Now I'm going to hook up the traditional hitch. All I've done here now is I've lowered my trailer onto the back of my truck. This is a traditional hitch. You can see how much uh, the back end of my truck is now weighed down. I'll move up so you can see this bubble in the level, which has now moved up towards the front of the truck because now it's sloping forward. It was sloping back. And all of that weight has been now transferred from the front of the truck to the back axles of the truck, giving me uneven weight distribution. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the weight distribution, the Blue Ox Sway Pro, and we'll get a good before and after comparison. If you're wondering why I went with the Blue Ox, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's a great hitch. It's probably the last one you're ever going to need to buy. When I did buy it, I didn't have the big trailer I had now. It was kind of overkill for what I had at the time. And at that point, the spring arms that you use to balance out your trailer were a different size. Now, they look almost identical. And if you're wondering how to tell the difference, here's an important kind of pro tip. Blue Ox uses a dimple system. And this one here, I'll show a close up in a second. This one has one dimple. And this is the spring arm for somewhere between 550 and 750 pounds that you want to kind of transfer back to the trailer and then as I went to my travel trailer that I have now it's a three dimple system that one goes about a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds so those are interchangeable depending on the trailer that you're using and as you can adjust this height so when I upgraded the trailer I didn't have to rebuy any of this and the fact was is my dealer he had some spring arms in stock and I asked him to throw them in so that it really didn't cost me a thing so this whole thing probably is somewhere in that $600 range, uh, $700 range, depending on which arms you're getting with it. And I was able to transfer this between trailers and not have to upgrade when I went from a very small trailer to a very large trailer. It's well worth the money. So one of the most common questions most people have about weight distribution hitches is how do they work? Well, the simplest explanation that, that makes sense to me is that they're like a wheelbarrow. If you imagine yourself lifting the back end of a wheelbarrow, you can move more load using that than you could just picking it up normally. Now, where I always used to get confused is I thought the wheelbarrow portion of that was describing what it was doing to my travel trailer, and that's not correct. It's actually better describing what it's doing to your truck. So, I'm gonna put these bars in. This is not how you put it together when you actually hook it up to your, your trailer, but just to demonstrate the wheelbarrow function that this weight distribution hitch uh, provides to your vehicle. So if you could imagine for a second that I was strong enough to lift the back of my truck, what I could do is I would grab the wheelbarrow handles and lift up, and what that would actually do is cause the front of my truck to go down and the back to come up, just like a wheelbarrow. Now once the trailer is attached to this, that trailer counteracts that weight, and that causes the weight on your truck to be evenly distributed, hence a weight distribution hitch. So let's get this thing hooked up, and uh, I'll show you how it, how it fits on the trailer. 
All right, first thing you'll notice is that this sticks out way more than your traditional hitch. That gives you a little more room to maneuver with these sway bars once they go on. So I'm gonna get this hooked up to here and then uh, we'll start talking about the next steps. So all I've done at this point is lowered my trailer onto the, the ball uh, and it's locked in. I have not taken any weight off of any of this and this part here is the same as a traditional hitch. And now before you do anything else and lower weight down to do anything else, that's where you take these spring bars and you load them into the slot. I'll show you a close up of that. Alright so now comes the fun part. So at this point you've got the ball hooked in and you need to use your trailer's winch to lift your front end even higher. And what you're trying to do is to bring the long end of this spring arm up until these up until these pieces where they attach. And as you lift this, this piece here will come much closer. And I'll show that kind of in a fast forward so you don't have to watch me grind on the bench. All right, before I show you the next piece, I'm gonna back up and let you see just how far that has lifted the back of my truck up. That is way high. And I haven't moved the level. So as you can see, I am way high in the back and that's right now because of the way that it's all set up. Now let's go ahead and hook up those spring bars. So once all of this is hooked up, now you have to attach these spring bars to your trailer. So the trailer will have lift brackets on it and these were put on by my dealer when they transferred it when I purchased this trailer. And you look on these chains and you're supposed to hook in the ninth link. So you count down nine links, links one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Coincidentally, I have a little bit of duct tape there. And it slides into a slot right there. Okay. And at this point, it's still pretty loose. You then Take one of these levers that they give you, and help turn it, and it will snap into place. Now at that point, you can wiggle it a little bit, not a lot, uh, and I'll show you when we take the weight off this thing, you won't be able to move this thing at all. So one interesting thing about these blue ox is that the lift brackets are not mirrored for each other. So one for the right, one for the left. Both the driver side and passenger side ones are actually the same, exact same bracket. So what that actually causes you to do is on the passenger side bracket, that chain goes around the front of the lift bracket and tightens back. And on the driver side, it goes around the back of the lift bracket and tightens forward. Uh, it's a little confusing the first couple times you do it, but once you do it a couple times, it, you, it's pretty simple. So this Blue Ox Sway Pro is officially attached. It's got the spring bars on both driver and passenger side. Everything's hooked up. The uh, lift is still down. I'm going to take that off in a minute and then we'll hook up chains and stuff. I'll give you a good view of how it's all hooked up here. And I'll show you the other side as well. As you can see, it's all hooked up. It's ready to go. Now we're ready to put some weight back onto the back side of this truck. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start lowering this down and I'll back the camera up so you can watch the weight transfer onto the back of this truck. All right, let's go take a look. We've lowered the weight down onto the truck. Now let's go look at that level. And look how level that is compared to where it was before, or particularly where it was with that traditional hitch on the back where the front end was real high. This is going to give you a lot more stability, a lot more control, a lot better weight distribution, as well as anti-sway. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and kick these bars to show you just how stable these things are. Look how bent that is. When I kick this, this trailer and the truck's going to move, but those chains really don't move. That's how stable they are. That's how they push this trailer back in line in case you get some sway or something on the highway. Finally, if this is working for you, if this is something you're interested in, I did put links for this down below in my description. Uh, there are Amazon affiliate links. Check them out. As well as make sure you're subscribing and clicking that like button if it helps you. There's a couple other things you want to consider when you're making your decision for a weight distribution hitch. First, 
this blue ox, you don't need to take anything off of this when you're backing up. So there are some weight distribution hitches out there that actually you have to take a couple pieces off to make sure that you're able to back up appropriately. That's not true with this one. It makes it way easier to deal with. If this video has helped you make a decision, please go ahead and click like and subscribe. Hopefully that it will help you as much as it's helped me. And finally, go ahead and check out some of my other videos that we'll put on the screen here. I would appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.